They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause they got problems on problems. What's going on, people? It's the Xbox. 448 and t in today's video guys we are going to be talking nostalgia um for people who don't know the final fantasy 7 remake episode 1 comes out in april the demo however has just come out today on the ps4 and there are a lot of gamers out there you know out on twitter you know sharing screenshots talking about their experience stuff like that it seems like a lot of people are really digging uh, this remake to one of the most beloved kind of like video games in video game history let's be honest I do know that the original Final Fantasy 7 ate up a lot of my life when it came out on PlayStation the original version uh, man I I know life that game I, I absolutely you know I came home and, and it was about Final Fantasy 7 for the longest time absolutely love that game and with them deciding that they're going to do a remake, really pump up the graphics. Uh, like I said, people are sharing screenshots of the demo, looking absolutely incredible. Um, and it seems like a lot of people are having a lot of fun with the demo. Now, there's a couple things about this title that I'm a little kind of like on the fence about. And it's funny because Gaming Bolt actually came out with an article today. And they're talking about something that I've been thinking about. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, with the the remake episode one coming out in April, uh, Gaming Bolt went and talked to the, pro the producer of the game, of the Final Fantasy VII remake, uh, asking about when is episode two going to come out. Now I know episode one isn't even out yet, and... You know, Gaming Bolt's already talking about and asking about Episode 2. But it kind of makes sense here because if you look at, like, the episodic space, there's only, you know, if, if you don't get your, your next episode out in time, you have a chance of, of kind of, like, losing gamers. And um, I'm thinking that when it comes to the episode uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, every episode, I believe, is going to be 60 bucks. So it's going to be like the price of a, a brand new full game. Um, and even if it has a lot of content, you know, with a full game, you get the satisfaction of the ending. Uh, I don't see with this remake, you necessarily getting that satisfaction of the ending. But I'm kind of veering off here. Let's get back on topic. Gaming Bolt asked the producer about you know when they were gonna uh you know if they were in development for episode two already or when it was gonna happen and i will link i will link the article in the description below so this way you guys can take a look at it because i'm just gonna loosely kind of like quote things and stuff like that and you can go and check out the uh the actual article but with talking to the producer uh it was stated that they are gonna go into full development on episode two as soon as episode one launches so that would be in april now they have done some pre-production some early development stuff like that when it has come to this game but they will go in uh full development mode in april so if you think about games being made now with barring any type of major setback you think three to four years for a game to come out right and that's with early development uh, pre-production type things all kind of rolled into one you know you're thinking three to four years so with them doing that early development stuff and going into full development I'm guesstimating that it's gonna be two years between episodes and guys I want to know what you think about that I know Final Fantasy has a huge fan base a huge following but I want to know what you guys think are 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 what, what do you think about two years before the next episode? And within this article, um, the producer was talking about many episodes. He's, he, he went on record as saying that he could be making 
Final Fantasy VII remake episodes for the rest of his career. So you you take a look at what's going on here. You know, the producer of the game is basically stating that he could be spending the rest of his career making episodes for the Final Fantasy VII remake, meaning it's be absolute years before you get to the end of this game and get to the satisfaction of beating the game. Not only that, there's a really good possibility you're going to be waiting two years in between episodes. To me, that's a little bit crazy. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, I do want to say this game will release on PS4 in April. It'll release on Xbox next April. There's a year exclusivity when it comes to at least episode one. That's another thing I'm, I'm thinking about when when it comes to their the exclusive rights, you know, the the timed exclusivity. Uh, I'm wondering if Sony has like every episode locked down to be a year to come out a year before the Xbox. Like Sony will get it a year before Xbox will get it. I'm wondering if it's the whole thing. If I had to assume, I would say it's every single episode that you know is in the pipeline will be coming out you know a year later on the xbox version but um i want to know what you guys think two years I, and you know one one thing about this is i believe these are going to be 60 dollars per episode I'm, I'm hoping i'm wrong on this but i haven't seen anything to indicate that it's going to be any less than 60 dollars per episode so you're paying sixty dollars every two years to continue a story which you know graphically has been changed they said that they even added in content and stuff like that which will be really interesting to see as the game releases but i want to know how you guys feel um do you think you would be happy waiting two years for every episode to come out i'm hoping that they have some type of like you know level grinding in the episodes or something like that i i this is really awkward to me i do know other developers other publishers have done episodic content you know you can point your finger right at telltale in terms of all the episodic series that they have made in gaming but there was also you know, there was a certain time limit for the next episode to come out and stuff. It was, you know, I don't think we were waiting two years for the next Walking Dead, um, you know, episode to come out. I think they had, they, they did a bunch of it, at least at the framework. They did, you know, a bunch of the episodes that needed to be done. And they were working on them as they were going through. All right. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to swing. I know the first episode is going to go like crazy. It's going to, you know, at least on the PlayStation side, because, you know, that's the consoles coming out on first. And then it comes out a year later on the Xbox side. Now, I wonder how many people are going to stick with it for as long as, like, Square Enix is planning on the development cycle and the amount of episodes that are going to be coming out. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade here, but, you know, I, I do have an obligation to the gaming community to think about these things. And when it comes down to it, it's one of the reasons why I'm on the fence with, you know, even picking this up um, on Xbox a year later. I can't wait to see what the game kind of like has to offer, but what when it comes down to it, two years in between episodes, which is my my estimation there and and that's barring any type of setbacks or anything like that two years i don't know if that's quick enough um but again guys hit up the comment section let me know what you think about this let me know if two years in between each episode is going to be acceptable for you um just let me know your thoughts and opinions but that's pretty much my topic for today you know if you like the topic you like the gameplay definitely hit that thumbs up button because you know hitting that button really helps get my channel out there to to other gamers who might not know about this channel and you know kind of 
get my channel to grow even more. I, I would definitely appreciate that. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. If you're one of those new people coming across my content, I, 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 I hope you get into it. I hope you like it. I hope you realize that, you know, I'm just trying to bring common sense back into this gaming community. I'm trying to leave the console war, you know, bullshit at the door. I, I, I think we, we've done this for far too long. Um, there's other channels out there that either pander to the Xbox fan base or pander to the PlayStation fan base. And I just want to talk about games, guys. I, I want to give my thoughts and opinions when a company is doing something that I don't think is right. You know, for the gaming community out there, I will be, you know, outspoken about it. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double it. Cause I got problems on problems.